After Savannah City Council members rejected the latest proposal from county commissioners, the chairman fired back. Last year, the two split over money and power. That's right. WJCL's Nick Natari caught up with the chairman today. And Nick, it sounds like the frustration is growing. It's sure, it, you know, it's certainly, as you can see it, not only the chairman's face, but this letter that he's now sent. You know, the county approved a proposal last month and gave the city 30 days to respond. The clock is ticking. Chairman Al Scott wants to know why the mayor won't let city council have a say. County Commission did not talk about the merger during its meeting today. The two merged in 2003 to provide police protection to the unincorporated areas. The county wants to pay less and have more power. Earlier this week, Mayor Edna Jackson sent a letter to Chairman Scott rejecting their proposal. He sent one back. In it, Scott mentions he'd like to see City Council act on it instead of the mayor sending a letter. Jackson mentioned she'd like to work with a mediator but Scott today tells WJCL News he's not sure it'll work. I don't know what you're going to mediate. Uh, in fact, if they won't present anything, the pros and cons to city council to let them make up their mind, if they're only going to present the cons and no pros of a merger agreement, how in the world can you decide? The county gave the city until Sunday to accept its offer. The two have until April of 2016 to figure out an agreement or the Savannah Chatham Metro Police Department will be dissolved. If a deal isn't worked out, the county is looking to bring back its police department. Chairman Scott had hoped to work this out before the start of 2015. And guys, today we asked him for an updated timeline. His answer is simply, I wanted this done by January.